This video is going to show you how to export all of your Google account uh, when you are getting ready to leave the school district, whether you're, you are a teacher or a student. One good thing about using Google Takeout is that you can select exactly what it is that you want to save and export, and it will give it to you as zip files, uh, as many zip files as you need to export whatever you're wanting to keep from all of the Google products that you have used. One downside is that your Google Drive contents will be exported, but the files will be automatically converted to Microsoft Office files. An alternative to this will be shown in a different video on how to transfer your Google account. You can view this document on the Google Drive to see text instructions for how to export all of your Google uh, into a zip file that you can download onto a different computer. Uh, we're going to show you what those steps are right now. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to start by going into the portal. We're going to select Google Drive. Once you open up your Google Drive, uh, real quick look down on the bottom left side where it shows you your storage. My particular account has 342 gigs worth of storage uh, just in the Google Drive. And then on top of that, there will be some blogs, there will be a Google site, there's some YouTube content. All of that is going to be put into a package to be able to be downloaded from the Googleness. So now next to your uh, icon in the top right, there's the little nine dot waffle. We're going to click on those to see the account settings. This is the account settings for your AISD Google account. Once you've opened up your account settings, on the far left side, we are going to click Data and Personalization. Scroll down towards the very bottom of this window, and we're going to look for Download Your Data. This is going to give us the ability to download as a file all of our data. Google is now giving me some options for downloading the data that I, uh, that I want to get out of my Google account. So number one, it's going to ask me, as I'm creating this new archive, select what I want to include. And so here, it's going to, by default, select every Google service that is connected with my account in Austin ISD. I don't use much, uh, many Android devices, so I'm going to deselect that one. I can deselect as much as I want, uh, things that I may not ever want to get out. Uh, I, I don't use cloud print, maybe I'll undo that one. I use contacts somewhere else. So I can select and deselect, and that will also uh, diminish the size of the export file. For this example, I'm going to only select my Google Drive. Now I've selected this Google Drive, and I have three more choices here. Number one, it's going to give me some options. When I download this to a computer, it is going to, by default, download this as a Microsoft Office file format. So my Google Docs, they will be downloaded and converted into a DocX. I could change those to PDFs or some other format. The DocX or the Microsoft Office formats are the most compatible uh, for downloading our Google Documents. So I'll click OK to that. Some other advanced settings, if I click this, it will maintain all of the revision histories for the documents that I am downloading. And now of my 300 some odd gigs, how much of those, that information in Google Drive do I want to uh, download? So now I can select which folders I would like to have. For this example, I'm gonna deselect all of them. And I'm just going to select this particular folder and I'm going to click OK. So now I've selected the one folder that I wanted. Uh, I have my settings set the way that I would like them and I selected all of the data that I wanted to download. You'll see as you go through here there are many choices. Uh, for example the YouTube if I want to uh, preserve my search histories or videos that I found or created I could also download that information as well. So I'm going to go to my next step, and my next step says, how do I want to get my downloaded information, my, my archive? By default, the delivery method is that Google will send me an email, and that email will contain a link 
that I can uh, open on a different computer somewhere and then download all of that content onto an external drive or a different computer. You can also have it go straight to your AISD Google Drive or some other service that has storage. You could then access it later and download it to a different computer. The export type is going to be a one-time archive. I'm just going to do it now. The file type, uh, the zip.zip is a uh, compression file type and it is a very compatible file type for downloading files off of the internet. The archive size here is a, a choice that you can use saying that if I am going to be downloading 300 gigs maybe I want larger files like a 50 gig file so that I can have fewer uh, zip files of data. In my uh, example here I'm just going to use the 2 gig size however much uh, when it gets to 2 gigs it will start creating a second zip file and separate all of my content out that way. So now I'm going to go ahead and create the archive. Once I create this archive, it is going to start uh, compressing, finding my data, putting it into a format. And this could take a few minutes, but mostly it will take a few hours. For my large Google Drive, if I did the whole thing, it would take days to create that archive. At this point, it is being prepared. I can leave the page now. Uh, if I came back to it, I would be able to see some progress. Uh, but at this point it is working. I could start creating a different archive for other folders in my Google Drive or something for just my blogs and my Google Sites. Coming back later to the data and personalization tab in my Google account, I can go back to the download your data and I can check on the status and now it tells me that it has been archived. This is the latest archive that I've made. Now I can go manage this archive I can say it would list all of the different ones that I've done, but this is the only one that I have that I've finished and it's 27 megs. I will go ahead and download this one. At which point you will see that it begins to download it to my downloads folder on my computer. So now if I go to that folder, I will find that zipped file from Google Takeout. If I unzip it, I will see that it creates a takeout folder. If this was a rather large download, then I would have multiple takeout folders. In this particular instance, it gives me the archive or index HTML browser tab. And what this does is it tells me what is in this specific archive. It archived 42 different files. If it also was getting my blogger and my YouTube, I would see those artifacts in there as well, listed in this index. Also though, in this exported download, all I did was download my drive. So if I open up that I will see the folder that I did choose to export and in here any Google Docs are now Microsoft Docx formats uh, but all of the structures and all of the folders are in that Google Takeout folder.